Today I am going to talk about the period of the periodic table. We can define period like this. The elements that form a horizontal row of periodic table are known as period of the periodic table. Look at this. This lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. This forms horizontal row of the periodic table and this is second period of this periodic table and hydrogen and here far away helium forms first period this way we have all together one two three four five six seven periods in this periodic table the vertical column represents group horizontal row represents period and that can be defined this way today's focus is on what happens to the reactivity or metallicity and non-metallicity of an element as we go to right hand side in a period. In case of group 1a, the atoms of each of the element contains only one electron in its outermost cell. In case of 2a, atom of each of the element contains two electrons in its outermost cell. In the same way, 3a contains three electrons, 4a contains four electrons. That can be represented this way. Look at this. If an element is in group 1e then it has got one electron in its outermost cell that will be attracted by one proton of its center i mean to say nucleus in case of 2a the atoms of each of the element contains two electrons in its outermost cell but in case of 3a there are three electrons in the outermost cell and 4a four electrons and 5a five electrons 6a six electron and 7a seven electron i'm not talking about zero group element because they normally do not take part in the chemical reaction okay now have you noticed this as we go towards right hand side in any period the size of the atom goes on decreasing now how and why the reason is very simple. In case of group 1a, there is only one electron in the outermost cell and this one electron is attracted by the proton with a little weak force. But in case of 2a, there are two electrons in the outermost cell and two electrons are attracted by two protons of the center. Attraction is comparatively stronger. That's why atoms shrink a little. In case of 3a, there are 3 electrons and 3 proton attracts. 3 electron attraction is more strong when we go to 7a, then 7 proton attracts 7 electrons and attraction becomes very strong in comparison with 1a. And that's why the atoms of group 7a are very small due to the strong attraction between 7 electrons and 7 protons. So, the atomic radius goes on decreasing in any period when we go from left hand side to the right hand side. What will be its effect on reactivity or metallicity or non-metallicity? Let's talk about this. As we go towards the right hand side, the attraction between proton and electron is stronger. That's why tendency of donating electron decreases. It means in case of group 1a, the tendency of donating this one electron will be more because the distance between proton and electron is more and that's why attraction is weaker. But in case of group 2a, there are two electrons in the outermost cell and they are a little nearer in comparison with 1a. So the tendency of donating electron becomes a little less than 1a. In case of 3a, tendency of donating electron becomes more less and in case of 7a, a, they do not donate electron to other elements, but they react by gaining electron because attraction between proton and electron is very strong. The proton can attract the electron of another atom also. That's why what can we conclude as we go from left hand side to right hand side in any period of the periodic table, the tendency of donating electron goes on decreasing. It decreases and metallicity goes on decreasing metallicity decreases what it mean metallicity means the tendency of donating electron is the property of metal and this is called metallicity metallicity of group 1a that means the tendency of donating electron of group 1a is very strong but metallicity of 2a is a little weaker than 1a that's why as we go towards right hand side, metallicity decreases and non-metallicity increases. So we have metals in left hand side, this 1a, the whole group is of 
metal 2a also whole group is of metal in 3a also but when we go to 4a and 5a there are metalloids and as we go to 6a and 7a they are non metals that's why right hand side we have non metal left hand side we have metal so we can declare that there is high metallicity towards left hand side and there is high non metallicity in the right hand side i mean to say group 7a has very high non metallicity but group 1a has very high metallicity and metals are towards the left hand side and non metals are towards the right hand side okay this much for today